example. And in this video, we're going to be using on shape to create ISO number 18. Uh, we'll start by making this base. Uh, then we'll add in this upper rectangular portion. Uh, then we'll round some edges and cut out this rectangle and cut out this circle from the uh, objects. Uh, so let's go to on shape and I'll open ISO 18. And I'm going to start a sketch on the front and change the front of my object. Uh, we're going to start with that base so it's a rectangular shape and if we look it comes over one two three four five six seven eight and it's got a height of two uh, so we start at the origin i'm clicking my rectangle over eight enter height of two enter hit our green track and again i'm just changing the view so you can see it better uh, then we count how far back it goes one two three four and five uh, so we'll change that depth on our extrude to 5. Extrude, depth, 5, and hit the green check to accept. Uh, that gives us our base. I said we were going to do the upper portion next. So we have this uh, rectangle will extrude upward. So it's got 1 and 2 to the depth, and it goes all the way across. It's going to be pretty easy to create. And it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll start a sketch, put on that top, change to our top view, select the rectangle, and it's pretty straightforward. Click on the corner, uh, we'll go over to the far side, and we want to set the value to 2 and enter. Uh, the other one's locked in at 8, it can't be any other value, so we're done. It's black, so we know it's constrained. Hit our green check. Again, I'll change my view just so you can see, and we'll extrude it up a distance of 8 and hit enter or hit the green check. Uh, next we're going to round our edges. You can see on the front and hand side it's right at a radius of one for these fillets on the front edge. So we'll come over here, select our fillets, select those front edges and change that radius to one and enter. Uh, hit the green check to accept and that gives us those rounded edges down there. I'm going to zoom out for you, and now we're around the top edges. So we'll hit fill it, we'll hit those top edges, and this time it's going to be a value of half the distance across, which is 8, so a half of 8 is going to be 4. So we set that radius to 4, and hit enter, and that gives us that rounded top. Hit the green check to accept. Uh, next, I'll put in the rectangle we cut out of the base. So to do that, I'll sketch. I'll cl click the top of that base and change my top view. I select my rectangle tool and we can count it goes o over 1, 2, 3, 4 and in just 1. So we come back over, we click on that front edge and then I'm going to click and set my values. If I zoom out you can see it's 4 and 1 and enter. Uh, then we have to dimension it from the side. So if we count from the side it's 1 and 2 in from either side. So I'm just going to go on the left hand side here and click to get my dimensions and set that value to 2 and enter. Hit the green check to accept and now we have it locked in the right place and all we have to do is extrude, remove. I'm going to click inside that rectangle and select blind and change it to through all. So it cuts all the way through. And that cuts out that front portion. Lastly, we need the circle cut out. So you can see it's got a diameter of 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's right at the center, so it's concentric. So we're, I'm going to sketch down the front. I'll change the front view for you. And we'll select the circle. If I can get that center point, otherwise you have to constrain to it. And we said it's got a diameter of 4. Hit the green check to select. And then finally we turn our object. So we'll hit extrude, click on our circle, make sure it's a remove, and change blind it through all. And that cuts our shape out. Uh, so hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO number 18. Uh, good luck.